We're here at the Laser Standard and Laser Radial European Championships in Gdańsk. And here in Gdańsk, we have four Olympic medalists from Rio. And I would like you to meet Anne-Marie Rindom, the bronze medalist from Rio Olympics, also world champion. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, and now I'm going to start with uh, how do you like it here? I like uh, Gdańsk a lot. Um, it's been so so good. It's been uh, really nice, and we have the sun and uh, the sailing here. Just everything just uh, seems to work really good. You've been here before. I've been here before training in Gdansk, and I've been in Gdynia a couple of times, uh, also sailing. So uh, yeah, we we like Poland a lot. Maybe not everybody knows, but your coach is Polish. Yes. Not for short. It's a long-term relationship. How long is it? We've been coaching together for eight years now. So uh, I came to Poland first time uh, just before Rio, and we came here just to get out of Denmark and get a little bit away from the media attention. And uh, you know, everybody was so nice to me, and uh, we had good trainings uh, before Rio. So it's always a pleasure to come back to Poland. Uh, we are talking about Piotr Wojewski, uh, yeah. to be precise. Some sailors, or even sportsmen, not only sailors, they work with one particular coach for some let's call it limited uh, time and change the let's say environment to have different approach different angle but eight years is quite long you still <laughs> have a mild uh, conversations or it gets heated sometimes <laughs> it definitely uh, gets heated sometimes but I think also because sailing you need so much experience before you can really do good it takes a lot of years to get to that level me and Piotr know each other so well it's just in our advantage that we he can tell when we are in the morning he can tell which mood I'm in I can tell which mood he is in and all the time we have good communication and that's just so important in the beginning it was always hard because he's a little bit different school and I think he adapts to some of the Danish things and I adapt to some of the Polish way of thinking uh, for the training and it made me better and I think also his coaching was uh, made better from the Danish way so we're learning from each other and it's uh, it's been a good journey so far did you maybe find something that was uh, <laughs> hard to understand or believe at first and now is something that you may be not even thinking about anymore. In the beginning we had a training in Denmark and it was so cold and he was coming and uh, you know it was very um, not military but it was more like uh, you know this is uh, the way it should be and it's strict and I think in Denmark it's more up to the sailors and stuff but I think we um, complement each other really well now because we took a little bit all the good from both of the cultures now it works really good. And the cold shouldn't bother you the Viking country of Denmark is <laughs> kind of like let's bring it on no? Yeah yeah exactly you know I think we are both having the same mentality that we work really hard we train more than others and that's also why we uh, have uh, such a good relationship coaching well it uh, definitely pays off you're working harder than everybody else you're leading uh, after the first day uh, you've mentioned that before Rio you came to Poland for training get away from media attention how about the trainings now we have COVID situation how was the training period for you of, uh, back then, like a couple months back? What were your emotions about it and approach to, to, to the future? We came back from uh, Mallorca from a training camp and we were straight into lockdown uh, for two weeks. But after that we were kind of like, okay, we could go out sailing as long as it was not more than five people together. And obviously we sail a boat that we are alone, so it was okay. It was cold in the beginning, so we did a lot of training and also without Piotr. He's he from Poland, here, but here. he is uh, he lives in Sweden now with his uh, wife and kids. And to come to us in May, so we started the training uh, easily. And of course, the Olympic got postponed, so we had a little bit more time and we were taking it kind of easy in the beginning. Uh, and then during the summer, we've been uh, training here and in Sweden. So it's actually been really nice with a good group of uh, sailors. It's been it's been okay, like, but I think we are all all ready to to be back to, to racing now because this is you know what drives everything and this is where we get the motivation and uh, training is so hard <laughs> so it's so it's just really hard to train all the time and not uh, be able to show what you're actually working on and just to know if you're on the right path on working on the right things so we're really happy to be back racing well, today's uh, trial by combat, uh, in your case, was uh, really successful. You mentioned the postponement of Olympic Games. Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering what is your thinking about it? Like many people live in Olympic sport in four-year periods, and now out of, out of a sudden it's five-year period. Yeah. 
So did you make plans before that at this time of the year of 2020 I'm going to be on Bahamas drinking <laughs> some nice piña colada and yeah. uh, it's still on and for one more year. Is it uh, hard mentally or is it just part of the game? I mean, it's uh, the same for everybody. In the beginning, I was kind of like, okay, that's fine. But then it came to me and it hit me like, okay, I actually planned this and this and I want to uh, finish my master's degree as well. And that's going to be postponed one more year. And, you know, just there is some things. I also have some other goals in my private life that I want to achieve and uh, to see that being postponed for one year was uh, was hard. So it's been it's been a hard summer. Even though we, you can go into training and those zones, it's still uh, definitely been some mental challenges this year that I had never experienced before. But I kind of like made that conclusion now that I just want to use those things uh, for next year and then come back even stronger than I could have maybe this year. That's kind of like my thinking. <laughs> And if you were to make any predictions about how the winter is gonna look, do you think that we will be able to actually travel freely and go to training camps? Uh, it's a beautiful weather here now, but let's yeah. face it, it's maybe last <laughs> week and then it's not gonna be possible to sail this high in Europe, so we need to go somewhere south do you think it's gonna be even possible yeah it's hard to predict i know that uh, right now we uh, danish are not uh, able to go anywhere but i think they're also gonna make try and make an excuse uh, exception for us uh, because our sport we can simply not sail in denmark and have good quality uh, training so we want to go to south europe uh, somewhere where it's gonna be open and we can be training because uh, this is important for us for the Olympic year next year. Hopefully we can and uh, hopefully everybody is uh, staying inside of the COVID rules and, um, and that it's going to be over this uh, shitty time. <laughs> well then stay safe and stay fast in this regatta. Good luck for this event and for the future of course. Thank you. Thank you so much.